Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are gonna be trying out the brand new Wet n Wild pump collection. Well, bam. So this is what they sent me in PR. It's this big, beautiful see-through gym bag and they have all their products in there, the whole collection. They also sent a cool towel and a water bottle. So we are gym ready. And it's all about its leisure beauty. So it's supposed to be like makeup on the go, quick makeup that you can wear to the gym. It's supposed to be sweat proof. We gonna test that out. I don't have my workout bra on and hair in a scrunchie for nothing. We're going to the gym to test these products out later in the video. But a lot of brands are coming out with these new type of product lines. We have Clinique Fit, Maybelline just collabed with Puma with their kind of this leisure beauty makeup line. So I'm really curious about these type of products and I'm excited to try this specific Wet n Wild collection. It's super affordable. Everything in there is under $9. Are we gonna look hella cute in the gym? Am I gonna be able to catch a date at the gym too? You know, those cute hot guys sweating in there. We gonna see today. But before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and click that little notification bell so you don't miss a new video. Also, if you're part of the early gang when I drop a video, I comment back to you guys. I heart your comments. You know I interact with my babies. So all the more reason to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So let's start by just talking a little bit about the collection. Some of the products are meant to wear to the gym. Some of them are to freshen up afterwards. So for skincare, they have these face and body wipes. They have a few different glitter masks. They also have these cleansing balls and also a cleansing oil. They also have a face and body mist. And for hair stuff, they have a refreshing hair mist and a dry shampoo. Shampoo. So we'll test the skincare and hair stuff after the gym. And then now we'll get into the makeup portion, which is all of this stuff right here. Dang, that's a lot. You see, they came out with six different shades of BB creams, some blotting wipes on there as well. They also have their cream sticks here, which they call their partner up sticks. You can take any two and put them in the connector right here. One goes on each end and take it with you to go. And at the top, these are their eyeshadow sticks that are supposed to be sweat proof and waterproof. They also have two palettes. So that's just an overview of everything that they have in the collection and this entire PR pack that they sent me with the gym bag, towel, and every item in the collection. They're actually selling the whole PR package on their website, so that is available. But now let's get into testing the makeup. In the collection, they don't have a brow product. I've already applied my brows, but let's try out some of their partner sticks that are meant to prep your skin before the gym. So first I'm gonna use the toner stick and try that out. It's very cooling and just glides right on. Now I'll just tap that in with my fingers. It does have a little bit of a stickiness to it. So this has peptides in it. It's supposed to make your skin appear brighter, clearer, and smoother. So the toner is completely applied. And I think it's hard to tell with a toner after first impression what it's gonna really do for your skin. You need to try it a few times to really see a difference that it might make in your skin, but it kind of added a little bit of dewiness and it was easy and quick to apply. So those are my thoughts on that, moving on. Now let's try out their blemish stick. It's this little blue stick that actually goes on clear. So you're supposed to apply this on your blemishes and your girl has a lot right now. So please blemish stick, make this blemish go away. But this is infused with witch hazel and cucumber extract, which is supposed to help soothe sensitive skin. It doesn't have like a tingle sensation, which usually blemish spot treatments do. So I don't know how I feel about that. It didn't really feel like it was doing much, but it's supposed to help with your blemishes. Now let's try out their cooling moisture stick. This I could see being really nice after workout too, to kind of freshen up, you know, when you're all hot and sweaty. It's supposed to provide instant hydration, have a cooling sensation and minimize under eye puffiness. So we will apply that under there. This also has cucumber extract in it. So it's supposed to soothe and hydrate your skin and kind of just blend it and tap it into my skin. So far my skin does feel like there's some added hydration there you can see I've got a little bit of a glow. Definitely feels like it's sitting on top of my skin though and not like soaked into my skin and it has a little bit of a stickiness to it. So the last two kind of skincare sticks that we have is a primer stick and a mattifying stick. I'm gonna use the mattifying stick just on my forehead to see if it does get rid of that shine. So I think it definitely did help to decrease the shine on my forehead and mattify that, but I don't wanna put that around the rest of my face yet. And we're gonna use the primer stick. So now let's apply this primer stick all over. Whoa, as I rubbed it on my hand, the whole thing kind of broke off. So not loving that. Don't roll it up too high. And let's dab that into my face. So the primer is completely applied. It's supposed to be a special formula with Murumuru seed butter in there that's supposed to help to moisturize. So far, when it comes to all of those skin prepping partner up sticks, I don't really know how I feel about them. My favorite one definitely has to be the cooling moisture stick because that one I could feel right away. It felt super cooling. For the blemish stick, don't really know if it did too much. Didn't really feel any tingling or anything on my blemishes. The mattifying stick does seem to mattify, but it's very kind of thick. And the toner was hard to tell on the first try what that would really do for my skin long term. So now let's try color correcting. I'm gonna use the two color correctors that are in both palettes. So there's the warm and the cool palette. We'll use the warm one. Each palette comes with two color correctors, two lip products, three eyeshadows, and a highlight, a blush, an intensive glow bronzer. First going in with the green color corrector. Green is meant to help with redness and I have a lot of that, especially around my blemishes right now. So I'll apply that wherever I do have a little bit of red 
redness. And the yellow is supposed to help counteract any hyperpigmentation. So I'll apply some of that yellow to brighten there. So I'm just gonna dab that in a little bit with my fingers. Now moving on to the BB cream, which also has a highlighter inside and a color corrector. Peach color helps to color correct any like dark circles or kind of purpley tones. So I'm gonna apply that under my eyes. So the BB cream packaging, I'm kind of not really a fan of because it is like this really messy powder brush. Usually I prefer a pump or even a squeeze tube. All the other packaging is very practical and kind of portable. This kind of seems like it could untwist and spill in your makeup bag. So I'm mixing the shades light and light medium to try and get a perfect color here. And they have six total shades of the BB cream, which isn't a lot of shades, but maybe because it's a lightweight BB cream with not much coverage, you could make it kind of work for your skin tone. The only thing is I wish this BB cream had a bit more coverage to cover up the color corrector that we used underneath. I'm also gonna apply this kind of as concealer on my under eye on my lid as well. So BB cream's completely applied and I would just be careful using that green color corrector with this BB cream just because I had to work a little bit harder, give it a little extra layers in those green areas to help to cover it up. I do really like the peach color corrector that the BB cream comes with. I think it did help to brighten up and cover up the dark circles on my eyes. And I like the yellow color corrector in the palette. I think it helped to cover up some of my scarring, but still very lightweight, still very fresh and natural looking. It is super hydrating and you can see I have an overall shine around my face. So I'm a little worried about that. And if I'm in the gym, obviously I'm sweating. My oils and stuff will come through a lot faster. So I'm worried about the BB cream just enhancing that, but we'll see. To help with that, you can either add a little bit of powder on top or they have blotting powders in the collection. So I could try using one of those to get rid of the shine. So there we have it. Those worked. I mean, it got rid of a lot of the shine and picked up some of the excess oil. So we good to go. Next, let's try out their blush stick in the shade Peach. I'll just directly apply that on my cheek. It's very creamy and very balmy kind of consistency, which I like in a cheek cream. It makes it easy to blend and makes it a lot more natural looking. And wow, the color is very, very subtle, but I like that. So I'll just blend the edges out with my finger. So cheek products on, it added a little bit of a peachy tint. I'm liking it. It was very easy to blend out. The only thing is, again, it's added a lot of shine, which I'd be worried about going to the gym because your girl's gonna be sweating anyway. But on the cheeks, I'm not too worried about being shiny because it just actually adds a healthy glow. It makes you look more youthful, keeps your skin looking fresh. So I do like that cheek cream stick and they come in five different shades. Now let's go back into that palette and try out the bronzer. So there's quite a bit of fallout in there, but let's see how it applies. Wow, it's very, very soft and very subtle, but it is adding some warmth to my face. I'm just really not liking how much fallout is there. Bronzer's on, I'm loving that. I think the little bit of sheen that it has to it is perfect to keep with, you know, a glowy, fresh face, keep it looking natural and was easy to use. Now let's try applying a little bit of this matte powder blush on top of the blush we've already applied. I wanna try this one out too, and also it'll help tone down the shininess a little bit, and hopefully the powder will just last a lot longer throughout the workout versus a cream. Ooh, that is tray pigmented. You wanna be careful, but that's gorgeous too. Loving that, and it did help to control the shine a little bit more. Now let's try out that cream blush that comes with the BB cream. Just applying that on the tip of my beauty blender and on my cheekbones. Ooh, that is really, really pretty and very natural looking. So now let's test out this powder blush that's in the palette. We'll apply that on top, giving us an extra blinding highlight now. Love that. Really smooth formulas. So the complexion makeup is completely done. I'm actually loving how it looks. It's very natural and you, know, you can still see my imperfections kind of sitting through, but that's okay. Perfect for the gym. I'm really liking most of those products so far, but moving on to eyes, we're gonna try out their cream eyeshadow sticks. So these cream sticks come in six different shades. These are all of them swatched. I'm gonna be working with the neutral tones. I feel like if you are going to the gym or exercising, you're gonna probably work with neutral colors and not like a black smoky eye, you know? I mean, you do you, but. So I'm gonna use the shade Running Naked, the really light champagne bronzy color. This is a very creamy eyeshadow stick. I'm really liking how it's applying. It's supposed to be sweat proof, waterproof, not crease on you. And then on the outer corner of my lid, I'm gonna take the shade Protein Shake and starting just on the outer corner of my lower lash line, slowly going up into my outer corner. Now let's take a clean brush and kind of blend that out and into the outer corner and up into the crease. You could even apply these just with your fingers. That's the whole point of this collection and this Ath Beauty idea is that you can just apply it super quick, super easy. The eyeshadow sticks are completely applied. I really like how they applied creamy, blendable. Now the test is if they are long wearing and waterproof as they say that they are. They didn't have a waterproof mascara in this collection, so I'll just apply one off camera and then we'll move on to lips. Moving on to lips, you guys. I was wondering where my lip product was and I realized I used it for my cheeks. So no wonder the cheek stick felt very kind of balmy because it was actually the lip balm in peach and I meant to use I'm Glistening the cheek stick. So mistakes 
happen. You know, we still made it work for the cheeks, it's fine. So let's go ahead and use that peach lip balm for my lips now. There's also those two lip products in the palette. I think I'm gonna just go for the lip balm that feels super hydrating, has a little bit of shine to it. And my lips were hella crusty before, and now they look a lot more soft and hydrated. So I do like this lip balm. So now this completes the makeup look. And we tested most of the makeup in the collection. So now it's time to put it to the test, take it to the gym, do a little workout, sweat a little, and see if it is sweat proof, waterproof, and hardcore enough for the gym. All right, we are ready to work out. I brought the Wet n Wild bag with me with some goodies in there. We got the water bottle and I am ready to test this makeup up. Mostly I wanna sweat to really put the makeup to the test. So let's see how it goes. Now I'm gonna cool down. I'm gonna try these out right now. They're the Hit the Showers face and body wipes. So these are supposed to be for the girl on the go that doesn't have time to shower after the gym. Definitely smells fresh. I like these, they're refreshing. But now let's go back to the studio to review the rest of the products. So we're back from the gym. You know we worked up a sweat. I did a little bit more cardio than I normally do to really get the sweat glands opening up, you know? I had time to cool off a little bit and I did manage to use some of the products in the gym. I tried out the Do the Spritz Cooling Face and Body Mist, which smells so good and it's just like an all over mist. Makes me smell nice. Kind of fruity, very sweet. So I like that body mist. I would definitely use that again. We also tried out the face and body wipes at the gym. It's like a very strong minty fragrance, which I think is good if you're especially if you're using it to try and freshen up after the gym. You want that strong minty goodness. So I think those did a good job. So now let's talk about the makeup look overall and how it held up. I think it did pretty good. Obviously, the main thing right now is the mascara kind of smudging on my under eye, and my under eye is just a little bit creasy and not looking great. So if you are using that BB cream as a concealer, I would recommend setting it even if you are going to the gym and you are wearing waterproof mascara It will probably still smudge if you don't set it also wouldn't recommend using that BB cream as an eyeshadow primer Because although those eyeshadow sticks are very long wearing and waterproof and meant to prevent creasing and all that The BB cream underneath since it is so moisturizing it made the eyeshadow sticks fade a little bit There isn't really any creasing but there's definitely fading in the eyeshadow color the cheek powders that bronzer the blush the highlight all looks really great still the BB cream has kind of smudged off on some of my problem areas. It has gotten kind of greasy in my nostrils. So I wouldn't say that the BB cream is waterproof or sweat proof because it did move around a lot and it has, you know, faded and smudged and gotten creasy in some areas of my face. But it was kind of nice for an overall lightweight product to even out my skin tone and kind of hide a little bit of blemishes. But I wouldn't go as far as to say that it's sweat proof and waterproof because I don't think it did hold up for the short workout that I did have. And obviously the lipstick completely rubbed off, but it was only a lip balm, just meant to be a quick thing you put on before or after your workout. So I still think that that one is a good option to go to the gym So I guess at this point you could either touch up your makeup or take it off completely after the gym But we're gonna take it off using some of their skincare products So let's start out by using one of those body and face wipes for our face and see how it takes off the makeup Because we know it works great for the body, but can it take off the makeup? So it is a really big wipe So I like that especially for taking off makeup You can fold it over and use it a bunch of times if you have a full face now for the eye makeup Let's try out the facial cleansing oil from the collection pump a little bit of that into a clean part of the wipe and see how that removes the eye makeup. Ooh, that kind of burns on my eye actually. It does say it's a facial oil, not an eye oil, so maybe I messed up there, but it burns. Okay, so I'm not gonna use that oil on the other side of my eye because that really did burn a lot. I'll just use the wipe on this side. Now last skincare product to try out from the collection are these Personal Best Exfoliating Facial Cleansing Balls. So what you do is take one of these balls and you just put it in your palm of your hand and you start wetting it. So I have a bowl of water in front of me and you're supposed to rub it around in your hands until it starts getting really sudsy and turns into a cleanser. Pretty cool. I like that idea for a cleanser. It makes it very portable. So now it's completely melted into my hands. I'm gonna go ahead and start to cleanse my face. Okay, so the cleanser is basically off now and I do really like that cleanser. It's probably my favorite of the makeup removing products in the collection because the facial oil really burned my eyes, so I wasn't a fan of that. And then same with the wipes. They weren't very comfortable on my eyes. They irritated them a little bit. So I did prefer these more of like a body Body wipe because they are so big and they do smell so citrusy it just felt a little bit too strong for my face but the little cleansing balls are really cool it did feel like a really good cleanser my face feels nice and clean and it took off the majority of the remnants of my makeup they also came out with two glitter masks the black one is a detoxifying purifying mask and the pink one is to tone and brighten your skin we're not gonna try these out in this video just because it will be literally 10 years long I'll update you guys maybe on insta stories if I do end up 
trying it and really like it. So follow my Insta at Sylvia Gani. So the last two products to test out are their hair products. We have the dry shampoo and a refreshing hair mist. So let's go ahead and take my nasty gym hair out of the pony. That's when you need a good dry shampoo to come in. It's meant to absorb sweat, oil, and odor. So I am really liking this dry shampoo. It smells really good. It did a good job freshening everything up. Didn't leave a white residue behind. And it's a good price, so I do like that. Last up is their It's My Cheat Day Refreshing Hair Mist. So I'm really liking this too. It actually is helping with the frizziness and make my hair just softer and smoother. And it smells really, really good. So I love that. I would use both of these products, especially after the gym. We like it. So that was the full collection put to the test. I have some things I really liked, some things I could do without. I could probably do without would be some of these little cream sticks, the ones more just like for toning or for prepping your skin. Those I probably wouldn't use again, but I did really like the lip balm and the cheek sticks. Also the BB cream, I feel like there's better options out there, especially for my skin type. I'm oily, so it did get pretty shiny on me and didn't really stay on my blemishes, which is what I would want. The things that I did really, really love and enjoy was the eyeshadow cream sticks. Those blended out like a dream, beautiful shades. I love the on the go body spritz that I used at the gym. Really liking the cleansing balls for on the go, really cool idea. Also, I did like their full circuit palettes, but my favorite products definitely had to be the hair mist and the dry shampoo. These worked great on my hair and I really liked them. But let me know what you guys think of this collection down below and leave us some products that you know are waterproof and sweat proof that are your holy grails so we can all get some tips from each other. But that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you click here to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, just click this little bubble. And if you haven't caught my palette yet, click this button right here to go buy yourself one and then check out these other videos of mine if you haven't seen them yet. I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Bye.